of the early Famicom games that Nintendo chose not to release in the US, F1 Race is the only one that I genuinely wonder why they didn't do it. The only driving game Nintendo had in that early NES lineup was Mock Rider, and it really doesn't compare with F1 Race. Of course, Nintendo would eventually publish Square's Highway Star as Rad Racer in the United States, and that's a game that outdoes F1 Race. But in those first few months of the NES's life, Nintendo must have been very restricted in manufacturing if they dropped F1 Race for some of the other games they did. So first off, this game is transparently based on Namco's pole position. I know there's only so many ways that you can present a behind-the-camera race game, but F1 Race really comes close to pole position in presentation. They don't have the qualifying run in Nintendo's game, though. There are 10 tracks total in F1 Race, but you won't see them all when you play the game. On skill level 1, you play tracks 1 through 5. Skill level 2 is tracks 3 through 8, and skill level 3 is tracks 6 through 10. F1 Race is very much an arcade racer. You have the timer ticking down, and every time you cross the starting line, you get a certain amount of time back. Complete the race, and you get an additional amount of time to complete the next race. You'll have to be an excellent driver to complete all five races, even on the beginner difficulty. A strange quirk about the courses is that there's six different backgrounds, and the background is randomly decided at the start of each race. It's just palette swaps of the scenery, but it gives the game a nice atmosphere. Not all of the backgrounds are equally likely as well. The night and sunset backgrounds don't come up very often, but there's also a desert background that's so rare that in an hour of playing and resetting specifically to try to capture it, I couldn't get it to appear. As I've been editing this video, I have the Famicom sitting next to me, and I've been resetting over and over again trying to get the desert to appear. It's just that rare. I've read a claim that there's a seventh background, a snow scene, but I've never even seen pictures of that one. F1 Race was programmed by everyone's favorite programmer, Satoru Iwata. Shigeru Miyamoto did the design on this one. That programming wasn't perfect, though. F1 Race has some well-known glitches that occur when you hold Start and press Reset. Pause can appear on any screen and you'll get a lovely squeal from your television set. I don't believe that this trick works on most emulators since they don't soft reset the way that a Famicom does. But it's really to Iwata's credit that the game looks and plays as smooth as it does. Driving is super responsive. And it honestly feels pretty good for something that's being controlled with a D-pad. The car seems to have a lot more grip than you find in other racing games as well. You can take those curves a lot faster than you might think you could. You'll spin out and lose time if you gun the engine as the race starts. Low gear will accelerate you up to about 200 kilometers per hour. High gear tops out at... well, that's a bit complicated. You see, there's a trick to F1 Race. If you can get the car up to 416 kilometers per hour, then it enters Turbo Mode. In Turbo Mode, the top speed increases to 497 kilometers per hour, and the grip improves to the point that you don't skid around corners. But getting to 416 kilometers per hour is almost impossible. Doing anything other than driving straight at full acceleration loses a bit of speed. So you're slowing down when you go around the other cars. Not to mention the problems with corners. I have spent quite a while trying to activate turbo mode. I used course one which as an oval gives you the longest straightaways. The corners are gentle enough that you can accelerate pretty well out of them and even get a bit of time into them. The closest I've come is about 408 kilometers per hour. At that point, the speed is ticking up very slowly. I've hunted around for tips on how to do this trick, perhaps a way to get better acceleration, but mainly I found people just saying that it's very hard to do. I did find a tip to help with cornering. You can hold down brake and accelerate at the same time to maximize your grip. 
but it does reduce the car's speed to 305 kilometers per hour. Because they don't get talked about very often, you might be surprised at how many F1 racing games there are on the Famicom. It was a wildly popular genre in the 80s and early 90s. By my count, there is over 20 games on the Famicom for F1 racing. The popularity of the genre goes on to other platforms, too. The PC Engine has piles of F1 racing games. As for Nintendo's F1 race, there were a pair of nominal sequels on the Famicom Disk System, but they're played from a top-down view and so don't really share a whole lot with this F1 race. The Game Boy F1 race, on the other hand, that's a proper sequel with all new tracks and multiplayer support. As for Famicom F1 Race, I really do like it. Uh, it's not the best arcade racer on the system, that would probably be Highway Star, but it's one that I'm enjoying playing and trying to get that turbo mode to work for me. As for that desert, 